So oxa oil, when they finish flowering, that's by the way a really easy uh, plant perennial to grow. And here we have some that's already finished flowering and they flower for such a long time. But once they start turning all brown and withered like this, it's very easily to, you can almost just move them out here. I'll just show you here in my hand. And down here sits all the seeds. Here you go. And then you have a bunch of new uh, oxa oil. And notice I collect these seeds once it's, the weather is really dry so they don't rot. Then I keep them in coffee filters. You could actually sow them already now or you can winter sow them or in the spring. So they are very easily and they germinate very, very fast. For this, we're using regular potting soil because it's the cheapest. We did add water beforehand. That'll help our seeds not get lost and tossed around in the tray. Oh, and if you want to see a great video on how to winter sow, click the link here. Good job, Lars. So I have a bunch of these daisy seeds that I've collected in my garden. So I'm going to sprinkle them on top of the dirt here just like this and then I'm just going to add a handful of soil here on top just to cover them gently here there we go a little bit more maybe and then I'll take my name tag not to forget what kind it is and I'll place it out in the greenhouse and then once it's um, warmer here in the spring nature will do all the work then they will start to germinate. I'll keep an eye on them every two weeks. I'll go and see if the surface seems dry, then I'll spray a little bit. Uh, just remember not to add too much water because then the seeds might uh, get really moldy. So, and then the spring they will uh, sprout and when the plants are a little bit bigger, you can plant them directly out in the garden. Now it's time to place these in the glass house. They're gonna need sunlight and they're gonna need to be watered once every two weeks with a a little sprayer, just keep an eye on them. Once these seedlings start to sprout, they'll be ready to plant out directly in the garden come springtime. So it has been three months and these ox eye daisies, they have the second set of leaves, they have sprouted in the tray and now I just repotted them in a little bigger pot. Some like a little clump I take together, they really like, they don't mind being as this close. And then I'll plant it out in the garden once they're a little bigger. If you don't have the time nor the space to repot, you could also have planted them directly out from the tray. 